So we've all been there before, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why doing too much can actually keep you from losing body fat and getting into the shape that you want to be in. And it's pretty typical when we decide that we want to reach a goal, we want to get into better shape, we want to be fit and healthy, then we tend to try to overcomplicate the process and do way too much than we are capable of. So a classic example of this is starting to train six days a week and then saying you're going to do cardio five days per week and not take any days off and you're going to start a complicated diet plan and that diet plan is going to have you eating seven meals a day and they're going to be properly spaced and timed and perfect but the truth of the matter is is that it can be really hard to make that work especially uh, over the long term. My name is JC Dean. You're watching an OBS approach to looking great naked. This is where I give you the truth about what it takes to get into shape and I give you the exact steps to reach your fitness goals. When we're trying to get that transformation, we're trying to get into better shape and reach our fitness goals, it's common to try to do everything possible to make that a reality. But the truth of the matter is, is that you can't do everything and in fact by trying to do everything you're probably keeping yourself from getting the results you want. So today I'm going to give you three ideas that will help you simplify and solidify your approach to transformation. You can have high hopes and you can have all these aspirations to train five or six days per week, but if your schedule just won't allow for it, you need to pick the one that fits best for you. So what I like to call this is having a base program. So you know you can get to the gym three days per week, pick a program that's going to hit your full body over that three days per week and make sure that that's something that you stick to. And in the case that you do have a day that frees up for whatever reason, maybe you leave work early or something happens and you get a day off, then you can go do an extra full body session or you can do an extra cardio session or whatever you want to. But make sure that no matter what, you stick to that base program and you always go to the gym that three days per week that you can make it. Now the next thing I want to mention is your diet should be incredibly simple in the beginning. You don't want to overcomplicate anything too quickly and if you are not used to eating in a certain way or you're not used to eating fruits and vegetables or making your own food, you don't want to go from constantly eating out to trying to cook for yourself every single meal because if that's not something you're used to doing, it's going to be really hard to stick to in the long term. So what I recommend is finding something that is easy to begin implementing and stick with that without trying to change too much else. So if you aren't used to eating breakfast but going through the drive through in the morning, it's best to start with something simple and I think like a shake is really easy because you can get up, you can throw some fruit into a blender, put some protein powder in there, have a protein smoothie, and it's way more convenient than making a full course breakfast, uh, but it's also better for you than going through the drive through So keep it as simple as possible in the beginning, and as you start getting better with a new habit, then you can start making more choices for your nutrition. The last thing I wanted to mention is simplifying your schedule. So if you can simplify your schedule, I'm going to encourage you to do it. And what I mean by that is if you're used to doing something a certain way, but there's a better way to do it and it's going to be more beneficial for your fitness goals and it's reasonable, then do it. A really quick example is thinking about how you're going to get to the gym and when you're going to get to the gym. Some people have gyms that their work provide in the building. Some people have their gyms in their apartment building. Uh, sometimes the gym is really close to their home or really close to work. So you're going to need to think about what you can do to change your schedule for the better. So if getting up a little bit earlier and getting to the gym before work means that you never miss a gym session, then I would try to do that. Get to bed a little bit earlier, make that a part of your routine. If you can delegate something in your schedule, say maybe making your meals. If you're not used to cooking for yourself and you don't feel like you have a lot of time, maybe you can hire someone to cook some of your meals for you during the week and then you can store them in your fridge and you can heat them up for lunch and dinner. That would be one easy way to get the diet section in order without needing to worry too much about shopping or planning ahead for your meals. But what you need to know is that the simpler you can make your schedule, the better. So don't make training a chore. If you know that when you get off work that you're not going to want to go to the gym and you have a history of skipping the gym after work, then try to get your gym session in in the morning or on your lunch hour before you leave work so you don't fall into the old habit of just skipping the gym and saying you'll do it tomorrow. Okay, so let me go over the three things really quickly. First things first is have a base program. 
the simpler you can make your training schedule, the better. And when it comes to eating healthier and making sure that you're eating in a way that helps you lose body fat, you want to make your diet as simple as possible and cut out anything that's overly complicated. So you don't need to eat six times a day. Three meals a day is perfectly fine. You can even have a smoothie for breakfast if that helps you hit your protein, macros, and your carbs and fats throughout the day. That's perfectly fine too, and I personally prefer to uh, cook dinner at night and cook ahead of time so I can bring something for lunch the next day. You want to keep it as simple as possible so you're able to stick to it in the long run. And then the last thing is you want to make sure that your schedule is as simple as possible, and if you can simplify the process, look for ways that you can do that, whether it be getting to the gym in the morning or whether it be hiring someone to make your meals for you and you can store them in the fridge for later. Whatever you can do to make your schedule simpler and work better for you, then you should definitely do it. But most of the time I see people try to do way too much too soon and instead of seeing their diet out over 12 or 16 weeks, they end up giving up after two or three weeks and being frustrated in the process. So what can you do right now to make your diet or your training or your schedule simpler? Uh, let me know in the comments and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them there.